Well, on the plus side, we're now down to two normal types instead of three, and only two, one on the team rather than two. Once you sell something worth the damn, ooh, bulldoze, not terrible. I'll take that. Struggle bug. I don't know if anyone learns that, but I'll take it. Sure, sure. I think everyone who wants Swords Dance already has it, but I'll take it. Do I want? I mean, I do kind of want. I just don't know if I can make use of. I propose. How many of these do we got? Bag is ten. Let's get a few more. And we'll grab some super repels for good measure. There we go. Heal up, because why the hell not? I'm in the Pokemon Center, it's kind of just required at this point. Alright. Now we have to... Oh wait, we have to still go to that one coffee shop or whatever. Then we can go uh, and fight What's-His-Name. Speaking of fighting What's-His-Name... He leads with a Psychic type. I think we just use Orthus, actually. Because Q-Sith might have to go up against the, the Frogger Pokemon. And I'd rather be at full health for that. Aha! Wow, we got there pretty quickly, pretty efficiently. Is it just me, or does this music that they play whenever you're dealing with knockoff Simba and the Professor here, does it not just sound, like, similar, not to tell you it sounds the same, but it sounds similar to what you might expect to hear if you were on, uh... Shit. Whatever that island is in Wind Waker, the first island you go to for the first dungeon with the dragon on the, the top, what the hell, I don't remember the name of the island now. Or wherever the island is with the, uh, the the bird people and the dragon on the cliff, it sounds like it belongs in that, like, area. Fuck, that's gonna bother me now. What is the name of that thing? Uh... Oh, Rico, Rito, Rito Village? No, Rito Village is the... No. Is it Rito? It's Rito something. Rito Island? I... I don't remember. I'm blanking on it. Going the wrong way here, too. Need to find my way out. Here we go. 50-50 shot, I got the right one. I don't think I got the right one, because there was a construction dude there. Ooh, I got the right one. I don't know why I thought the construction dude would be on the other side. Or on the other door, but, I mean, I guess he could be on either of them. Let's do this. Oh shit, you might have Nasty Plot. What the hell is that thing called? Meow Stick? Strangely enough, it does not seem to learn it. How about that? No one in. What the hell? Alright, assuming these are in order, which they appear to be. 
based on the dex numbers. But according to the list I've got, which isn't, again, it seems to be in dex order because all the numbers so far have lined up, no Pokemon between Generation 5 and Generation 7, which is to say all the Pokemon released in Generation 6 here, not a single one of them learned Nasty Plot. The only way to get Nasty Plot is off a Pokemon that's from any generation other than 6. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. You're a prick, you know that, right? You know what? Just because you did that? Put up your stupid light screen, I'm gonna wait it off by swords dancing. I'm gonna kill your whole team with this shit. Shouldn't do too much, right? Unless he crits. God damn. Um I technically live another crit. Why did it switch to disarming voice? Is it gonna disarming voice again? No. It's faster than me though, which is unfortunate. I don't know if I wanna risk losing Lucario to a stray crit. He shouldn't die. I mean, if he uses psychic again, it will kill him. I don't think he dies to a crit disarming voice. But if that thing drops psychic again, he will kill him. Bring out the Argos. Crit! Wow, it's still alive. Fuck this thing. Okay. And Absol. Pretty sure Absol can kill me with how much HP I got left. I think this is... Caval here. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Oh god, it hurts. I can't just go back and forth on this charm shit, because I don't have a good gramble. We just gotta be Fenrir here. Alright, now we bring out the frog. Is the shuriken a special attack or a physical attack? I could see it being either is the thing. Let's see if I just quick look that up here. It is special, which is fair.
I got pretty damn decent special defense, right? I mean, maybe not like super good, I suppose, but... What is this thing's special attack? One oh three. Mm. It's respectable for sure. Shuriken is a twenty five base power move. I'm ninety percent sure. No, it's fifteen base power. I don't feel as scared. I mean, I think five hits is still very dangerous if it crits, but we can at least get one return off before we decide that we need to switch again. There's one crit. There's two crits. Yeah. Well, if it hadn't crit three fucking times, well, two times, but it could stay in a little bit longer. We can at least force it into a different attack, and in a worst case scenario, switch into Argos and bolt it down. It opted for a quick attack. Is he on shitty AI? What the fuck? Oh wait, I'm slower. I can slow pass. I can slow pass to Argos. Now, unfortunately, the frog is respectably fast, or respectably is kind of not fair. It's a very fast frog. It will be faster than me. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Two hits and done. Oh my god, it crit. Fuck you too. Okay, we're done. And it's dead. Well, that was a nightmarish fight, because I made this stupid decision to swap to Lucario way too early when he was kind of the Fenrir? Once still in charm? Um Um I don't hate the idea, but I don't like it either. I whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, because it went back to the Fuck you, game. Why would you do that? When I say don't learn it from that screen, it should go to the are you sure, not the back to the beginning. Like, let's reset the whole thing. That makes sense. It's raining. Good thing it wasn't raining before. Fuck. He actually probably would have killed Argos if it was raining when he was sherry tossing. What am I doing? I have no money. Well, I mean, I bet a little bit, I guess, but... Let's take a quick peek. Oh, he's just... Different styles of balls, which I don't care about. Uh, I think we just throw Lucario up front, because he makes for such a damned good get-out-of-jail-free card. Oh yeah, I should probably put the, uh, repel back on here. Oh yeah. We're gonna get stuck in the mud here, aren't we?
Um, sure, may as well give this to somebody. Lucario is fairly fast. I think I like it on you, though. Get up, get up, get up, fuck! I feel so bad for Arbok. I wish it got a Mega Evolution. It's a Pokemon that should, generally be speaking, be pretty decent, but it's just not. Oh, are we are we just gonna set up in each other's faces? Let's set up together. Oh, we're doing this. Just for shiggles, let's go one more. I win. That was dumb. Not worth it, but it was funny. Oh! This is what ended Lucario's life last time, but we got rain on our side, so it reduces the power to normal. Not this Pyroar specifically, mind you. Does he look back this way? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Boom. Boom. Alright, we gotta be careful. I've fallen for this one before, too. Yep, there you are. Stay low. Stay low. Good. We're good. Follow him. Follow him better. Oh yeah, spooky house. All right, we're just gonna expedite this one too. I'm thinking, so this guy can do whatever the hell he is going on about, and then ask for a tip. No. Do they tip in France? I know I kept asking, so I keep forgetting to look it up. But I, I. I don't recall tipping being a thing in France, but again, I don't know that for sure. Oh, there's another double poke bar in the back. I suppose we can take a quick peek there. Let's see if there's anything useful for sale. I'll have to come back for it at some point. Okay, so the vitamins. Those are decent. Though they're sort of irrelevant in this game if you actually care enough for your EVs and IVs, since you can just, uh, uh, whatever I got in the bottom screen there, the super training. This is the Pokeball Factory one, right? Yeah. So you can't do that top you beat the- Oh, no. I hate all the gyms in this game. Um, yeah, you were just swept the gym last time, so we'll just leave you up front here. Oops. Oh yeah, I forgot I got some new ones. Bulldoze. Could be useful in Cabal here. Yeah, you're not really gonna get 
much out of the flinch chance on that unless Bulldoze goes off first. So I'd rather just have Bulldoze, I think. So we have some ground coverage there. See if I can remember how we do this. Um. I don't think this is the right way. I think it's gotta go the other way. We need to get to the room above us. I don't think this is the right way either, but maybe? No. Okay. Haha! Got there. Was the right way. Boom! Alright, that was probably the fastest we ever got to this, or through that little bullshit. Alright, we got a candy up to 42. That's a pretty solid jump for how very little there is between the last gym and this one. That's right. Um, I don't think we need the Mystical Fire, but it does help considering half of her team, well, more than half because it's three, are special attack oriented. But I take reduced damage from pretty much everything they're throwing at me, so I don't think it matters that much. I think the only one who... Yeah, the only one who can do some reasonable damage would be the Mawile with both Faint Attack and Crunch. And it doesn't have Sturdy. No, it has Hyper Cutter. So we just one-shot the Mawile with Flamethrower and move on with our lives, basically. Do I want Muddy Water? No, I have Surf. Why the hell would I want Muddy Water? No, I don't want last resort either. Mm, no, I don't want roar either. Could be useful, but uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not good enough to make effective use out of it. Oh yeah, aren't we getting close to... Uh... Aura Sphere here? Speak of the Devil? We're also getting close to close combat. Which will ultimately replace Aura Sphere, but... For now, we have Aura Sphere. And one more, there we go. Sucker Punch. Oh, I forgot to get rid of Surf, otherwise it would be a nice one to have. Can I get rid of Bite, maybe? What else do I have besides Bite? I do like Bite. Second Punch. 
think it's okay, though. We so very rarely use Bite that it's probably okay. Although I think I just lost my last Dark-type move, which kind of is a bad thing. I don't know. We'll figure that one out when we get to, when we get there. I think we're gonna be okay without a dark move. Although we have this psychic gym coming up, but the psychic gym, I think I usually just hit on their off types, except for the meow stick, which doesn't have an off type. But like, a let Manetric himself can just take out two of the Pokemon, no problem. He might have to take one attack from the Slow King, but he should one shot the Sigiglyph, and he probably is fast enough Sigiglyph. Alright, one down, two to go. Although the Mime is probably going to get up a light screen, which is going to be... Well, actually, it's not that bad, because I can always drop, um... Actually, it's not even Mr. Mime. How does Flamethrower versus Size Shot compare here? Yeah, Flamethrower. Now, is she going to heal it? Probably, right? Yeah. I kind of want to use Scythe Shock just once to compare hitting on its defense versus its special defense here. Oh, fuck! Oh, that was a crit. <laughs> uh, it's still probably better, actually. I'll have to remember that next time. Go ahead, throw up a light screen, you bastard. Yeah. Alright, well... What else does it have? Psychic and Gleam. Can't really do a lot of damage. How is Thigh Shock fair versus that light screen? Yeah, we're kind of fucked either way. Still Hyper Potion, fine, fine. But, you know, let me comp- Oh, another crit, nice. Just gonna heal again, aren't you? No? Cool. Alright, how's the light screen? Okay. Probably would've better used Flamethrower from the beginning. Not very effective is bad, although light screen's really bad too, trying to go through that with special attacks and all that, but... Probably better to use Flamethrower from the beginning. Somebody like me, when you ask my name.